Oh, what's going on fellow YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to this episode of Musings from the Coffee Shop. Now some of you may know this, I'm not actually in a coffee shop, um, <laughs> but uh, it, it's a hypothetical coffee shop, although the picture in front of you is from a real coffee shop, which I was hoping to do these from, but um, it kind of, it's not really practical with people coming in and out and, and I know I appreciate that. But it's a shame because this particular coffee shop has, you know, a sofa and chairs and a nice relaxed atmosphere. And it would have been great to do musings from this particular place. Um, looking outside there now, uh, that was last year, I believe, the um, in, during the summer of last year. So what is musings from the coffee shop? Well, I'm glad to say these don't happen very often. Musings from the coffee shop is where I'm feeling too poorly to do anything else. And on the day of recording this, my legs just aren't playing ball. My balance is all over the shop and I'm, and I'm just in a, in, in a right mess. So um, hopefully it won't last too long. But, you know, it's, it's good to still be able to do these and muse over different things. Now, one of the things I want to um, mull over was this Forge Bane box set thing where you get a, a, I think they're up for pre-order now, or they're about to be. Um, yeah, so I haven't been keeping much of an eye on it, to be truthful, because you, you basically get two forces in this box set, Necrons and Admech. Great, fantastic. Um, now, I, I like all 40k armies. Sadly, I can't afford to collect all 40k armies, and... So, um, Admex has always been a bit of interest to me, and I already collect Necrons, which is great. Okay, so far so good, but Admex isn't on my list of priorities right now for army collections. Um, so effectively, if I bought this box, I would just be getting it for the Necron side, uh, not knowing anyone else I could split it with, and... To me, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking, would it be better just to get the start collecting Necron box to, you know, bolster my Necrons? That, that might be an idea. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what one gets in this Forge Bane box set, but who knows. But that's an idea. Uh, the, the, the next army I would like to start collecting is Tau, believe it or not. Yeah, I know. I know, I, I thought I'd never say that, but yeah, I I think I might quite like that. I, I like the look of the suits and things and, you know, that kind of robotic look they have to them. Uh, yeah, I think I'd like that. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Of course, we've had a bit of snow here um, recently. Um, <laughs> just a couple of pictures. Um that uh, from the first day of snow yeah that's from my bedroom window uh, that's pretty much when it first started to fall yeah um, it did actually I would say it came to, we had I don't know altogether about a week of snow all told um, but the first time it snowed it kind of um, caused a little bit of disruption as it does in Plymouth because we're just not used to it and not geared up for it and that's the truth of it that's the truth of the matter so uh, but yeah I, I wanted to do a video to get these pictures in there's only two of them um, yeah from a bedroom window one looking directly out onto the garden and one looking more towards my studio area but yeah so that's that's it pretty much um <laughs> the snow it the second time not the second time but the second event of snow as it were came down it's quite like blizzard like conditions at one point here uh not forgetting we're quite high up here in fact we're very high up here highest in plymouth and um so the wind factor really blew the snow around and uh, not that you'd see it on the these pictures i've got here because i didn't take pictures of the kind of blizzard 
type of event. I was a bit, it was nice to see the snow, and I've always thought, oh yeah, I'd like to see snow, that's nice, you know. But judging by the disruption that it brings to um, my city here, I'm not keen on it snowing again. And from what I hear, we're due more snow end of Easter. And I hope not, I really hope not, because. I've kind of had enough of it now, <laughs> but uh, I don't mind if it snows, just a little pitter patter, makes it look nice and pretty, and yeah, that's kind of cute, but not when it gets like, you know, so thick and deep that it stops all the roads and the buses and deliveries coming through and people go crazy buying bread and milk, gotta get the bread and milk, help, we need bread and milk, and they go buying stupid amounts of bread and milk, and it's just ridiculous uh, uh, absolutely ridiculous um, the stupidity of some people uh, knows no bounds it seems but there you go uh, but anyway <laughs> that's that I'm still drinking my coffee so it's kind of like the same format as the old fashioned chillwood pizza if you can cast your mind back to those when I used to do those uh, now the, the premise of that series was I would do a chill with Pete when I was too poorly to paint or do anything else hobby related. Um, so I would sit and talk about stuff like books or rules or what or whatever it might be. And the episode would last as long as it took me to drink a cup of coffee, which is kind of cool, right? So I have my cup of coffee here now and it's a good, I think it's a good length. So I'm just going to take a sip of coffee. Right. So the other thing I've been getting into lately, um, as you may or may not know, is Call of Cthulhu. Really liking that as, a, as an RPG. It's a nice, um, it's a nice uh, kind of opposite to Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, opposite isn't exactly the word I wanted to use, but it's a kind of counterbalance to that. Um, one, one where you really need to use your minds and brains and solve puzzles more as opposed to uh, hack and slash and magic and all that and combat so yeah and leveling up but it's not like that in Call of Cthulhu it's more it's more a case of skills can increase and you can get more skill points and things can change in your life I don't know perhaps you get a promotion at your job or you get a better job hey that might be cool but anyway that's by the by but the point that the, the the reason I'm talking about Call of Cthulhu is because there are going to be a lot of miniatures I'm going to get based on the Call of Cthulhu mythos and the whole world surrounding HP Lovecraft because it's just fascinating. I read the horror of Dunwich or the Dunwich horror, whatever it's called, um, the other day. It's a bit disturbing to be truthful, but. Uh, it's meant to be, isn't it, right? Um, it's Lovecraft, so uh, it's bound to be a bit disturbing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Oh, I've been getting... Uh, yeah, like I say, these miniatures for... Well, not necessarily directly for Call of Cthulhu, but I've been getting miniatures with Call of Cthulhu in mind. And I'm not as serious, but... I still am on the lookout for miniatures that would suit the Cyberpunk 2020 RPG game as well because that looks a really cool game too. Um, I've missed out a couple of uh, times for picking up the book and that's a shame. Um, now I know by all accounts it, it, it's got a little bit of an update on, on, a, on a forum. It might be fan made, I don't know but um, you know to bring it more up to date with like kind of modern day because 2020 is just two years away and you know we're not all around with cybernetics in us just yet but uh you know but the other thing about collecting miniatures geared towards that is i mean there are other rpgs out there and there may be other rpgs that come up with a similar kind of theme if not now and in the future and that kind of interests me so um, that's why I'm keeping my eye on that I've bought myself one of those K&R multi case things or was it a multi case I don't know it's got like a multi layer thing in it that I can keep miniatures in 
and it's what I'm keeping the miniatures in that I'm kind of coming across now um, and I call it my interesting miniatures because they are a lot of them are interesting miniatures they're very interesting so I'm I'm kind of keen for that and um, who knows I may get another one in the future uh, I might have to modify the foam a little bit but um, for my Dungeons and Dragons models I say modify the foam up be for the monsters wouldn't it you know some of them are quite big mm. so that would be uh, nice to be able to get that going and I can make a whole load of videos on that um, I'm waiting for the summer to arrive um, <laughs> aren't we all but I want the sunshine because I want I want it to be sunny when I go and film the next uh, section of my memory lane series or the next video in my memory lane series um, that's going to be centered around snob hill um, where my friend used to live when i was a kid growing up and so much nostalgia attached to that series it's untrue i mean memory lane will eventually encompass computers um, old computers uh, old computer games that kind of thing um, so you know keep an eye out for that um, you know steadily it, it's not going anywhere as a series I know at the moment it doesn't have the greatest um, view count but it, I think it will do and it's more for myself anyway it's it's I mean we all run our YouTube channels we we I'm thinking I know I do anyway we run them for ourselves right we don't do it specifically for other people although helping other people and that that's great that's fantastic if that can be achieved uh, but ultimately i i feel it's it's we do it for ourselves and then if other people like what we do that's fantastic and i think that's what it should be about you should do it for fun i think a lot of people end up in the trap of doing content f you know for the masses and the audiences and they want to keep that and they get caught in a rut and you know we've got to do this and they've got to do that and um and they end up not enjoying it and consequently you know letting it slide by the wayside or even giving up altogether on it or moving to other other platforms uh, because they think that will solve their problems i don't i don't know that's just the way i see it I know a lot of people are heading over to Twitch right now. It doesn't interest me as such. It's a, you know, it does live streaming. I suppose it does it really well. I don't know. Um, but YouTube will will catch up um, with the live stuff. They're always improving stuff, and for me, YouTube is the big one and where I'm going to be staying. So that's just how I uh, view that point so I'll have another sip of my coffee don't want it to get too cold um, I want to be um, you will notice soon some of these interesting miniatures creeping into my on the bench series um, you know in the in the near future uh, but I'm also going to be wanting to be working on terrain at some point as well because <clears throat> I, I think I need a lot more terrain um, <clears throat> for my tables so terrain is a, is going to be a thing um, I've got one building in particular well two actually two uh, like ruined buildings obviously that I want to um, do up I want to kind of do it in the same vein as my Sanctum Imperialis building so I'm going to be needing a lot of greys for that one I'm thinking and uh, a large dry brush so <clears throat> that's going to be fun but yeah so um yeah keep an eye out for that one me thinks i need to purchase some more gray unless i can match i mean i've got a lot of grays in my paint collection um because I, I like it as a color it's a fantastic color and i'm pretty good at mixing them up but i've just got to make sure i mix up enough for i like to do the whole model i don't want it being like bitty you know if i go back another day and mix it slightly different it will show so i'm, I'm kind of aware of that don't want to break my magic formulas for how I do it <laughs> um, but yeah terrain that's going to be a thing um, 
my birthday is coming up soon the end of this month um, that's kind of cool uh, what have I got planned for that well I would like to go to Exeter I like the city of Exeter uh, I'm planning on giving I don't know if this Forge Bane set will be out by then but like I said I'm I'm kind of veering away from that and uh, looking at the start collecting box I think I'd get more f you know more model from a pound by doing that bolstering my necrons because like I said I want to start admex sometime in the future but that's a long way in the future and they'd just be sat there on my shelf not being used or enjoyed so and I want to start towers also I, I'm thinking I could either get a start collecting necron set and start collecting tower set or I might get like a large model uh, like Magnus the Red, something I've always wanted to paint ever since it first came out. Or Scarbrand. He'd be kind of cool. Or even another Imperial Knight, who knows. But I haven't finished either Imperial Knight yet, so uh, I probably won't be getting that. <laughs> One is uh, probably enough for now. But two would be awesome. But I'm not a serious enough player, you know, gamer to probably warrant getting two. I don't think so, anyway. Um yeah so let's have some more coffee it's getting cooler now i've started growing my own um plants i've got a little one of those little like cold frame things indoor propagator that's it that's the word i wanted propagator <laughs> um growing lettuces um peppers and tomatoes so hopefully that works out all right yeah I got one of those DVDs the other day, uh, uh, or did my wife get it? I can't remember. One of us bought it anyway. It's one of those uh, like relaxation ones, and it's all all aquariums. Uh, just watching fish do different things, you know, in different aquariums. It's really kind of cool, like tropical fish and that. Very very cool. Enjoy watching that, and because I used to keep tropical fish years ago. Um, a long time ago but uh, I'm thinking when we move I'd like to get back into that again and like I said I've talked about moving before and of course Mini Warzone will move with me not literally of course but um, you know <laughs> the the area the my designated studio area will always be with me I'll always have that so wherever we go I will have a studio hey that rhymed sort of um, but yeah, so that's going to be a thing, you know, one day and, you know, as each year. I mean, the time, we're nearly in April already, for goodness sake. Look how quickly the years go by. Uh, you know, a few years' time, it'll be start being more of a thing. Yeah, we're thinking about moving, you know, unless something comes up uh, earlier in the meantime. But, yeah, I mean, that'll be a big 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 thing for us in many ways um, because we have our our hobbies to accommodate now um, my wife's got two really big hobbies of hers that she enjoys one is her knitting you may have seen that she's really cool at that she she can knit anything now I think don't think there's anything she couldn't knit um, and of course the other one the big one is um, which she wants to turn more into her career is writing obviously you've got the Night of Failure book which is uh, out available to buy on Amazon now and um, you know that's a, that's a thing um, but the she has finished writing the second book um, I'll tell you now it's called Parallax <laughs> um, but that's being edited by my good self right now. Um, then it goes back to her, uh, her third draft. And then it comes back to me. Uh, I added the third draft to the fourth draft. Uh, then it gets sent out to beta readers. And um, a final edit of the whole process. And then we're ready to go. So it should be out this year, I'm hoping. And I'm looking forward to that. I am looking forward to going to to some places to to sort some uh, to 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 market it. I suppose in a way <clears throat> to put it out there. <clears throat> but yeah, 
so that's the thing and um, she's already got notes for the book free as well so um you know it, it's happening it's it, it's it's a truck that keeps on rolling basically and it's going to get bigger and bigger and <clears throat> she needs somewhere to write these awesome stories so that's going to be her hobby so she'd need like a little office uh, space to be able to do that um, i need my studio to do my uh, hobbying and gaming and um I don't suppose she needs a dedicated area for knitting, but <laughs> um, it'd be nice to have a room that I could put a little aquarium in and have that to enjoy as well. So there's all that going on in our heads right now. And, um, but yeah. So let's have another s one more sip of my coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Gosh, that went down the wrong way. Don't you just hate it when that happens? I've only got one more mouthful left and then, then we're at the end of the video. You'll be pleased to hear. <laughs> I just wanted to get a video out there because it frustrates me when I can't really do a like a video I like to do normally. But <clears throat> even though I probably wouldn't do one like on a day such as today, it's possible I wouldn't. But I don't like having that option taken away from me so i i make them anyway so here we are <laughs> so um yeah so that's about it i'll just have my last drink it's been great there we go it's been great chilling with you all it really has and um like i say these these only happen when i'm feeling quite poorly so i'm not keen on having too many of these and um, I, I, I look forward to you seeing you on the next video that will be more of a normal video for you. But I did want to get these out and I did want to, I did to be fair want to get a video to post those two pictures in. I just, because it, it so rarely snows in Plymouth, I can literally count on one hand the number of times I remember it snowing in Plymouth. So, so that's been fun. So thanks once again. Remember all brushes lead to wall. I hope you do well in your um, hobby ventures and um, I'll see you on the next video. So bye for now folks, goodbye.